Halftime at Iverwind Stadium in Hamilton. The Ticats with a touchdown lead in a game really that should have been tied except for the fumble by Montreal's Mike Pringle. Welcome back live to McMahon Stadium in Calgary. Later on this afternoon here, the Western semifinal, the BC Lions and the Calgary Stampeders. Still to come at halftime, first half analysis. Joining me will be a couple of head coaches from Saskatchewan, Danny Barrett, and from the Toronto Argonauts, Mike Pinball Clements. Now in that first half here this afternoon in Hamilton, Darren Flutie with three receptions. He now has more playoff receptions than any other player in CFL history. He breaks the record previously held by Calgary's great receiver, Alan Pitts. So it's appropriate that Darren Flutie is this week's CFL hero. And with the CFL hero, once again from Hamilton, here is CBC's Mark Lee. He is small and not that fast, but Darren Flutie is on pace to catch Alan Pitts as the CFL's greatest all-time receiver. But Flutie is not driven by fame alone. You mentioned stats and, and where I'll fall on the all-time receiving record. If I'll catch Alan Pitts, a lot of people, oh, you can't retire, you're going to catch Pitts. That's really not why I play the football game. You know, I love football. I love to play and I love our team winning. Flutie's tremendous career had an inconspicuous start. In 1991, he got a tryout only at the request of his famous big brother. Doug's influence on my career in, in the Canadian Football League is huge. I, I don't think I ever would have come up here if Doug wasn't playing for British Columbia that uh, year in 91 when I got released by the Cardinals. But I don't think the coaches wanted me up here. I don't think the, the town really had any interest in, in his little brother coming up and playing receiver, taking someone else's job. It wasn't long before Darren climbed out of Doug's shadow with one of the most dramatic playoff performances in CFL history. He was still my, my biggest fan as far as me being a football player, always going to my high school football games, my baseball games and basketball games. And I think uh, that relationship between us uh, supporting each other kind of made everything else just disappear as far as me playing in the shadow of Doug. While Alan Pitt's CFL records are within his grasp, Flutie's desire to spend more time with his family may end up coming between him and the milestones. Nobody. You gotta have priorities in life. And, and I mean, it's no, it's so magnified now. I mean, people understand that now after everything that's happened in the world. You gotta put what's first first. Uh, it used to be before the kids started school that uh, we'd come up during the season, we'd, we'd rent a house in whatever city I played in, and we'd be together all the time. Well, now it's changed a little bit. My children are, are older and start school, and they're, they're in school back in Boston. And it's just hard on me. I mean, they, they're caught up in their day-to-day -day school, and, and Terry's chasing the kids around and doing a million things, but I, I'm here. I go to practice. I come back. I, you know, they're not here. And it's just, uh, I just miss him to death. Along the way, Flutie made a friend in quarterback Danny McManus. They've played together in BC, Edmonton, and now Hamilton with a chemistry rarely found in football. Through the years, and when I had the chance to leave BC, he was in Edmonton. Yeah. You know, why not go with a quarterback that I've played with before and that, that I know is a winner? That's the, the biggest reason I like to play with Danny is because I know he'll do anything to win. It's not that I'm... It's just that he's a winner, so you have an opportunity to go to the Grey Cup. You know, we've had some, some really good moments, and, uh, you know, I'll remember those forever. Heroes of the CFL, brought to you by Standard Life. Standard Life, profit from our knowledge. Darren Flutie with the playoff receiving record here this afternoon. Alan Pitts still holds the regular season CFL receiving records. The question is, will Darren Flutie be back to get those next year? At the half, the Ticats are up by a touchdown. <laughs> 